Welcome to our video on making your code safer and more robust. Today we're tackling an important question from a fellow developer. They recently discovered that using the compilation flag WSequencePoint can help catch potential undefined behavior in their code. For example, they tested it with a statement that could lead to unexpected results. Now, they're curious if there are additional compilation flags that can enhance code safety beyond the usual ANSI, pedantic, and wall. Let's explore this topic together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To enhance the safety and robustness of your code, let's explore some useful compilation flags. You've already discovered the Baish W sequence point flag, which helps catch undefined behavior. In addition to mash w sequence point, consider using dash wextra. This flag enables additional warnings that are not covered by wall, helping you catch more potential issues. Another important flag is nays wearer. This flag treats all warnings as errors, ensuring that your code does not compile until all warnings are resolved. You might also want to use F sanitize undefined. This flag enables runtime checks for undefined behavior, providing immediate feedback during execution. Finally, consider using Najo2 or Majo3 for optimization. These flags can help improve performance while also enabling additional checks during compilation. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To avoid runtime errors, use these compilation flags, pedantic, wall, wextra, and wconversion. Avoid using the ANSI flag. Instead, use explicit standard flags for better compatibility. The Wextra flag is very useful for catching additional warnings. The Nash W conversion flag helps warn about type conversions that could lead to errors. The Pedantic flag ensures strict compliance with the standard. Here's an example using GCC and G++ with the Nash wall flag to catch warnings. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.